All right, Funny Mac in the building. What's going on with you, my guy? Hey, what's happening? How are you? Man, I'm chilling. I'm chilling on my way out here to uh, Indiana right quick. Make make this uh, delivery, and and uh, that's about it, man. That's about it. Uh, I feel you. How about yourself, man? How 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 you doing, man? How's 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 things going for you right now? Uh, things are going pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you know, but yesterday I had surgery. I had a metal rod in my jaw from getting shot. So right. um, so so things are feeling pretty good right now. Uh, I can still feel the pain a little bit, but it's not too bad. All right, all right. So uh, let's uh, funny Matt, man. Let's uh, let's start with your story, man. You know this uh. What's what's your background? Where you from? Uh, I'm from Washington D.C., born and raised. All right, up in the up in the Maryland area. Uh, nah, Washington D.C., Northwest. Oh, okay. Area. Okay, okay. So, what you do for a living, my guy? Uh, right now I'm a carpenter. Uh, I make the 360 camera booths. Mm-hmm. I work for a company that makes those. You know what? Ain't ain't that the cameras that that's that uh, a person just stands in the middle, like on a disc, and it's a it's yep. like a little like a little camera that spins around now. Yeah, I do the uh, I do the carpentry work for that. Oh, okay, okay. Who who came up with that idea, bro? I mean, you know, this it's people be coming up with some fascinating shit, man, for real. <laughs> but who, yeah, who, I'm not, who came I, up with that? I'm not. I'm not sure who came up with it, but my job is called Orca View. Mm-hmm. And you guys can look it up. Orca View, uh, they actually got sponsored by NFL teams, college teams. So I believe the owner of, of Orca View is actually the founder of the 360 Camera Boost. But I'm not sure. I don't want to, you know, lie. <laughs> All right. So since you uh, since you put these things together, where, where are these... Uh, camera booths popping up at like at malls or or what? Um, they're at wedding events. They're at uh, uh, national events like football games. You mm-hmm. see it at camera booths, stations. You kind of see it everywhere, pretty much now. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, how long you been? Uh, how long you been? How long you been doing that for? Uh, it's this going on my second year. Second year, all right, man. All right, so I came across you on uh, on TikTok, man, and um, and you 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 got some, I guess, wire work or something like that that's sticking out the side of your. Is that your neck or your jaw? That was my jaw. Okay, okay. So take take us back, man. How 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 did uh how did you? <laughs> get that how, how what happened for you to get that okay i can take it back for you uh so basically what happened was uh, i was in my neighborhood uh where my where my mother died three years ago but my sister still take care of the apartment where um that we had so i was there chilling uh i came across the people that i knew i tripped over somebody's shoe <clears throat> Uh, and we basically like got into an altercation. Uh, they said some things that I didn't like, and uh, I said some things that they didn't like. So uh, in the process of us arguing, uh, we was we was walking towards each other like we was about to fight. Um, a person got into the middle of us and was like, "Nah, we ain't, we not about to do that right here." And as soon as I knew, like a gunshot went off, two shots went off. Um, at first, I didn't really feel. The bullet hit my jaw, but uh, it hit my jaw, and I called my fiance. Uh, I started walking down the street towards where my mother lived, and I was like, uh, you know, come and uh, come and meet me at my mom's house, please. Just meet me at my mom's house. Uh, maybe like four minutes later of me walking, maybe like a block and a half, I end up passing out. Woke up two days later in the hospital, and the doctor said uh, I had got shot in the jaw, and the bullet shattered my jaw. He said, imagine uh, dropping a Coca-Cola bottle on concrete. The way that that shatters, if you try to put all of those pieces together, it will be uh, very hard. Um, So basically, he put the pieces of my jaw together, and that um, rod that I had was supposed to keep it stiff so it won't shift. And uh, 
Yeah, I had it in for two whole months, and yesterday was the first day that I got it off. Wow, man, uh, bro, I, I'm 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 sorry to hear that, man. I mean, um, it's just unfortunate that it's 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 these trying times now. You know, I'm. I'm old school, bro. I, I I came from an era where you know we 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 knuckle up, you know what I'm saying. Af, af, after it's right. over, we slap hands, you know. You good, bro? You good, bro? And you know we go on about our business, and you know we live to fight another day. But you know now, you know times, you know times now, you know people just want to take, you know, just want to take out that gun and just let that gun do the talking but sometimes they just you know they don't understand the the consequences and the repercussions of that man so um so you got shot two times two times no so i thought i got shot twice because i had a hold in my neck and i had a hold in my jaw mm -hmm. so apparently the bullet went through my jaw and uh came out of my the back of my neck Okay. Um, so yeah, I only got shot one time, and, and that was it. Did they, after you know, after you went to the hospital and everything, and you know, you you came out of it, um, are the offenders, you know, was 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 the police involved? Uh, were they able to f uh, catch them, find them, or anything? Um, I don't think they caught anybody, but because of the area we live in. I don't know if you are familiar, but normal uh, African-American neighborhoods are, are close to schools. I, I don't know if you know that, but that's actually a fact. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we was in the neighborhood that schools was around. So I think the school camera got uh, footage of it, but I, I don't know, you know. All right, so you you say you woke up uh you say you woke up a couple of days later was was you visited by the uh by the authorities or anything? Uh yes, they did come and visit me. Um they asked me questions like normal detectives do, showed me some pictures and uh like I told them I didn't I don't really remember at the time I didn't really, really remember. <clears throat> but uh uh the people that they showed me I didn't really know them. So uh, that that was the end of that. But uh, it is some what is what do you call it PPBs? It is some out for some people, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't really followed up with it or anything. All right. So after uh, after the doctor told you what happened, and you know now that you know you you had to you know go what couple of months with uh, with all that wire work done to your jaw. How was you? <laughs> How was you eating, bruh? Yeah, I was eating through a syringe. So basically, he uh, he basically had rubber bands where I had metal, like metal little plates in my jaw to hold rubber bands in. Mm -hmm. And I had the uh, the metal rod that was sticking out that everybody seen. Um, after three or four weeks, he cut the front rubber bands off, then he cut the rest of the rubber bands off. Mm -hmm. But he did tell me if this didn't work, that uh, he will have to take a bone out of my hip or my fibula, the biggest bone in my in your body, and uh, shave it down to my jaw. Um, he said because usually, like I said, usually you know when something is shattered, you can't put all the pieces together. Um, you will have to uh, find a new bone and, and, and shave it down to that size. So I am lucky that you know it, it, it kind of played out how I did right now. My guy, I, I I am so thankful. Uh, I am so thankful that that you are here to uh, tell us, you know, tell the story, share your testimony, and everything, man. And I appreciate that you use uh, the Lockout Men platform, which is the best conversations. This this is what we do, man. You know, I, you know, I I just have genuine conversations with you guys. You know, this is not like a like a, a you know how a q and a usually goes you know we conversate that's what's up man um and yeah, i, and I, I pre appreciate you yeah and i appreciate you coming over here and uh chopping it up man uh you got kids uh right how, how many kids you got man i got three kids i got a 13 year old daughter um 
a five-year-old son and a three-month-year-old. Well, she'll be four tomorrow. Four months. Four months tomorrow. How, when 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 that when that incident happened to you, how how did your you know how did that affect your kids, if any? Uh, it, it affected my son a lot because I was I'm not I wasn't able to you know play with him or or do the things that I'm normally used to doing because like I said I had a metal rod sticking out you know I couldn't even put on a t-shirt you know uh, <laughs> but um, with my daughter I couldn't hold her the same you know usually um, when you in the hospital, you know, you hold them a certain way and they're used to that. Um, I, I couldn't hold her like that anymore. Um, so it affected them a whole lot. And, you know, just seeing me going through my depression and my emotions of almost losing my life, you know, I think uh, affected them a lot also. Now, were you, especially with that, man, how, you know, how, how did that mess with the mental when you, when you came back out of the hospital? Uh... I kind of broke down, to be honest, you know, because, you know, I'm, to be honest, which I'm a cool guy, you know, uh, anybody that meets me know, you know, I'm down to earth, you know, I'm laid back. And for this to happen to me is like a, a real shock. It's like, oh, my God, I almost, you know, lost my life over tripping over somebody's shoe, like something that could have easily been settled by me just walking off or, like you said, old school, um, just fighting and getting it over with. Um so, you know, it, it, it was a lot. And then I got on TikTok. And uh, for some reason, a lot of people on TikTok was, you know, motivating me and, and, and making me feel good about it. And, and, you know, telling me that I'm strong and I'm going to make it. And, and, and that right there kind of motivated me and, and, and made me kind of want to talk and want to give my testimony, you know, so somebody won't have to go through what I'm going through. So they won't have to uh, feel the pain that I felt, you know. All right, so that's so the rise of TikTok came in. Uh, did did you find that app on your own, or did you, or was it was it the kids? Tell tell me it was the kids, right? <laughs> um, initially I was already on TikTok, just doing you know what normal, normal people do on TikTok, dancing and stuff. And but I wasn't on it that long right before this happened. And as soon as this happened, I started, you know, posting videos of me dancing or me with my kids with the rod in my face. And then uh, somebody asked me what happened. Why do I have a rod? And I explained why I had the rod. And from there, um, the, the numbers kind of went up and, 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 and the supporters kind of, you know, started following me more. Do, did... Other than TikTok, do you have any other uh, any other social media? Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Um, I have Instagram. Um, it's official funny Mac underscore, and I also have YouTube. But I just started the YouTube, but I'm gonna also start um, putting content on it. All right. So, like I said in the beginning, man, we're gonna have to talk about that name. So, Funny Mac, man, where 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 did you uh, come up with the name? And was was. What's what's the background about it? Um, to be honest, um, I think the funny I put it in front of it because everybody always said I'm funny. The Mac came from in DC. We call it like macking out. It's like you wilding, like you tripping. And uh, growing up, I used to be one of those guys. That, you know, you know, get drunk and you know talk talk trash or get up on the table or. You know, um, talk slick and do little crazy stuff. You know, jump on cars and stuff like that. And I, and so I think the word Mac came from my friends. Okay. So I just put funny Mac together, and it kind of just goes <laughs> goes with who I am. Funny Mac, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, you mentioned that uh, that 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 you have a fiance. So, uh, what was uh, how did that affect her uh, when, especially when she? When she had to come and get you, did she was the one that took you to the hospital, or, or what, what was her what was her feelings? No, so she actually seen you know the the bleeding coming out of my mouth because like I said, I called her as soon as it happened. I was on Facetime, mm -hmm. um, so you know she was very surprised about it. But she's a uh, she's a dispatcher, so you know she hears a lot of those uh, events happen, and and she understands. Uh, the things that the uh, necessary things it takes to you know save a person's life. So I think she was the one to call the uh, ambulance and got the people to come and get me. But no, she didn't come and get me. 
ambulance did. Okay, that's what's up, man. My condolences to you because uh, you also mentioned that, that you said that your mom's uh, past, uh, you know, uh, it's 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 tough, especially when it's a when it's a parent uh, involved. Uh, was you was you and your mom's close? Yeah, me and my mom's just close, and uh, that that's where all the joking <laughs> came from. It's actually from her. <laughs> All right, and you say y'all still y'all y'all still have her 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 apartment that uh that she still she she left that to you guys. So what? Just you and your sister, or just your sister? Well, she just uh, she left it to my sister, and I just you know help her maintain it. All right, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, funny Mac, man. Thank you very much, bro. You are a citizen. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you want to come on and chop it up with me, man, you'd be, you know, you're more than welcome. Uh, and if you yeah. have any events that, uh, you know, with the with the camera thing, man, because that's a new that's a new thing that's going around right, right now. It's popping up on all of the social medias that, uh, you know, showing the people doing their little dancing and then and the camera just going around. And I'm like. I'm like, that got to be, like, dizzying. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But, uh, bro, I do appreciate the time, man. Thank you very much. Um, how how can, uh, you know, you uh, you got your TikTok. So how how can people find you on TikTok, man? Uh, you can find me on TikTok. My name is Official Funny Mac. And I got a, also got a backup page, Official Funny Mac 1. You also can subscribe to my YouTube, Official Funny Mac, and you also can follow me on Instagram. I also, um, I answer to all DMs, so when people respond, you know, when they hit me up in the DMs, I'm not afraid to, you know, respond and give you advice or anything. So you also can hit me up on Instagram, Official Funny Mac underscore. Thank you, bro, man. I really appreciate this, man. Hey, you're very welcome, sir. You take it easy. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas and all that other good shit, man. And we'll uh right. we'll, we'll definitely this won't be the last time, man. So, you know, let's uh let's stay chill and uh we'll get we'll get together again. All right, hit me up anytime, bro. All right, Watch man. All right, one love, man. Take it easy. All right.